This is the KAKU ODU. And as you can see, it's larger than the standard triple sat dish and it has two multiple LMBs instead of the standard triple LMB. If we look at the back, you can see the base and the adjustments are also different. Don't let the size of these advanced alignment adjustments fool you. This dish is as easy to assemble and install as the standard model and it's covered under OTARD since it's less than one meter in diameter. That means you can put it anywhere you would place the traditional multi-sat ODU. You'll need a half inch wrench to assemble the KAKU ODU instead of the 7 16ths used on the smaller dish. Here's how it goes together. When you remove the azimuth elevation back mechanism from the box, make sure all lockdown bolts are loose and the azimuth bolts are centered. The 110-119 KU LMB bracket has three mounting holes that correspond to three different zones across the country. Preset the zone using the zone chart included in the manual and follow instructions carefully. It's recommended that the LMBs are attached to the LMB arm antenna back assembly after the antenna is mounted on the mast. Now bolt the tilt mechanism and feed arm to the azimuth elevation back mechanism. Then bolt the dish to the tilt mechanism. Make sure the flathead carriage bolts are firmly seated in the dish. Once the dish is assembled, set the tilt and elevation to the angles for your installation zip code. These can be found in the setup menu just like any other DirecTV receiver. When bolting the foot directly to the structure, keep in mind that it needs to be attached to a beam large enough to support the extra weight and wind load. The two center bolts of the foot need to be bolted in the center of the beam. Before you secure the foot, make sure it's level. Once the foot is level, secure it using the additional bolt slots. With the foot attached, plumb the mast. Like I mentioned earlier, with a broad look angle, this is a critical step. With the dish fully assembled and the tilt and the rough elevation set, the ODU can be slipped over the mast. Now let's take a look at the L and B's and how they're connected. The KAKU ODU uses two multiple LMBs. The 110 and 119 LMB looks similar to the traditional multi-sat LMB, except that it has two heads and jumper connections to connect to the 99, 101, and 103 LMB in the center. The two LMBs are joined by jumpers and there are four outputs in the feed arm just like the standard multi-sat LMB. Each output provides all services. If the four drops aren't enough to install all of the requested outlets you're installing, you can always use a 6x8 multi-switch. This DirecTV approved multi-switch will provide up to eight independent IRD inputs and connects just like the standard 4x8 but is rated for 250 through 2150 megahertz. Make sure the switch you use is rated for this service and DirecTV approved. Though the 6x8 switch used to receive signals from the satellites located 72.5 and 95 degrees looks similar, it can't provide access to the KA band satellites. The KA band portion of the center LMB receives the signals from the satellites at 99 and 103 degrees, and the KU band portion receives signals from the satellites at 101 degrees. The downlink frequencies from these KA satellites are from 18.3 GHz to 20.2 GHz, and they're down converted to two frequency ranges. The LMB output high frequency from the KA portion of the LMB range is from 1,650 MHz to 2,150 MHz, and the low range is from 250 MHz to 750 MHz. By using these frequencies, we expand the bandwidth on one cable almost three-fold, allowing us to send 1,900 MHz of bandwidth down the cable. Signals being delivered down the coax range from 250 MHz to 2,150 MHz. Now that's quite an expansion from the 500 MHz delivered in the traditional system. In order for your H20 MPEG-4 capable high definition receiver to receive all the frequencies, you're required to put a B-band converter module in line at the receiver. Though this ODU is different in some ways, it still works like the traditional DirecTV ODU, so alignment should be no problem. Let's look at the steps in aligning the KAKU ODU.